I hope that we have conveyed the fact that uh, there's quite an, a, 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 quite a few activities that are ongoing and are being initiated uh, both in collaboration with the uh, Stanford Center uh, as well as uh, actively pursued at, within our Harvard affiliated hospitals and uh, close collaborators uh, in the organization. We would hope to use this experience and to expand upon it uh, to create a, a very special opportunity in the field of MECFS. But in order to do that, we do need uh, support from the community. We need participation in our, in our studies. And I would hope that we would have an opportunity uh, to find individuals who would uh, contribute um, uh, to our support and even expansion of these activities over the upcoming months and uh, years. So that's a little bit of a shameless plea uh, for finances. And uh, I think Linda has a couple of slides here that she wanted to go over. But uh, we would look forward to having public events going forward in which we can share with the community um, and professionals in uh, the Northeast area our progress uh, with respect to the development of the center and all of its collaborations. I, it is, there is very strong intent and interest uh, among the Harvard affiliated hospitals as well as our colleagues here in Boston. You know, we're, uh, we're really um, blessed to have many uh, medical and other academic institutions who have very special facilities. And I just want to share with you that there is a tremendous opportunity for us to make a massive impact on a better understanding, um, uh, the possibility of biomarkers, and the possibility of identifying uh, new treatments in the field of MECFS. And so I hope that as you go away and go home today that you have some comfort that there is a very strong commitment and interest. We could easily double the number of scientists and, and clinicians within the Harvard affiliated hospitals, um, but all of this does take money. And um, we would appreciate if as you go away to think about how you might be able to help in this endeavor. Uh, we are fully committed and uh, we hope that you gain some confidence and uh, some comfort in the fact that, uh, that there is a commitment uh, within the organizations and the institutions. Thank you. I'm really overwhelmed when I think about the fact that we are able to have researchers getting together at Stanford and at Harvard and at Uppsala and really at other places around the world that we're collaborating with, when it's Australia and with Canada and with uh, the UK and, and a lot of other researchers that aren't here today but that are behind the scenes working on MECFS with us and with other people. And, we try to bring them all together to talk to each other, and we try to fund and, and only fund open collaborative uh, research. And it's really overwhelming um, uh, to think that this has finally happened. It's a dream come true to get all these brilliant people together. And what we really want you to take home today is the hope that's out there and the hope that we all share that research is really happening in a big way and we just need to help scale it up. Because until NIH kicks in more money to be able to help us do this, we need to do this in a, in a, in, with private funding. So let me just first start by thanking the speakers who spoke today, which is wonderful for everything that they're doing, and the speakers that came yesterday, and the researchers and clinicians that not only came yesterday to bring uh, their expertise to the table, but that have been helping us at the Stanford Collaborative Research Center and here at this Collaborative Research Center, and now Uppsala. We have way over 80 to 90 different researchers that are really 
concentrating on this and wanting to make uh, real inroads into what is happening in the body of patients so we can treat and we can cure this illness and really find out what is happening at the molecular level and what is happening so we can ca cause, fi find out what the, uh, the cause is in the body so we can treat it and cure this and put this in the past. There are so many people in the world that are, that are suffering and we are really appreciative to the clinicians that are spending their time in, in treating these patients and we need to have m many, many, many more clinicians and we want to be able to fund a center of excellence here at Harvard and then hopefully at multiple center of excellences around the world so that patients can actually see patients, uh, c patients can actually see clinicians that can actually treat and help and support their illness as they're getting through this. Um, I want to thank the organizers of, of today and yesterday, uh, Ron Tompkins and, and Wenzong Zhao and uh, Andrew Alexander and Marilyn Simon Gerzik and Debbie Hush did a fabulous job. And I want to thank the volunteers who helped today from Mass uh, MECFS FM uh, organization that helped us with registration and all. We can't do these type of uh, activities without all of your help. And I want to thank you for the fabulous job that you had. And I want to especially thank the patients uh, here and, and really all over the world that are really sacrificing themselves for this research because we couldn't do this research without, without your samples and without you answering surveys and questions and being bothered and, and having you spend your energy to help us find answers for many, many more people that are suffering out there. And I'd also like to specifically thank uh, the donors. Some are here today in the audience and they're all over the world who are listening as well. We could not do any of this research without you because all of it is privately funded. So I wanna thank you all first and I just wanna take a moment to do that if you can please share with me. I've mostly said what's already on this slide, but with NIH having 39, a $39 billion budget, we hope someday to be able to have more money for MECFS funding. And it may take us getting a biomarker for them to really step up their funding, so we've been really trying to find a diagnostic and a biomarker, and also, of course, to find treatments and to push some pilots going and, and some treatments and, 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 and get this going uh, from private funding at, at this point. So, I mean, my goal is to raise $50 to $100 million and really scale up this research. We have so many researchers that could spend much more time on this if we had more funding. So we're asking for philanthropists out there, we're asking for people who really want to make a difference in medical research and in helping people get their lives back all over the world. So I will go anywhere, to anytime, to meet with people who want to know what we're doing and why. And uh, so we ask for your help to help us introduce us to those people, but I want to thank you all for helping us continue continue this and helping us scale this up over the last few years that we've been doing this. We've uh, uh, started the foundation in 2012 and, and we've really started a lot of research in the last few years and, and it's really um, on, on a real graph going way high quickly. So we, we need your help to help scale that up. Uh, what we really need to do is, is set up center of excellence um, here and like I said everywhere because if we don't have clinicians seeing patients, we don't have research. And if the patients can't see clinicians, they can't be helped. So one thing we really want to make a real big effort is for medical education and to bring clinicians, number one, to Harvard here at a center of excellence to help uh, patients be able to have uh, not only services, but also to have a training ground for other clinicians to be able to train them here and then send them out to help patients everywhere, and then to feed all the research that's going to be happening all over the world. So that's what we call a center of excellence, and this is something that I, I, I hear somebody commented on earlier that they tried to do before. We need to do this now. And as we have here now, time, time is not our friend, and we really need to find answers now. But I want you to come, go home from here and understand and, and believe that people really do care and people are working on this all over the world and we are all in this together. We all want answers and we all want to help and get patients their lives back. So thank you very much for spending the time with us today and thank you very much for your input and your help as patients, as donors, as supporters and we hope to continue what we're doing and really scale it up and thank you all very much. We have this in, in your packet. Uh, it's just a, a postcard of, of how, if you might want to get involved. Um, we do want to encourage people just to tell as many people as you can about MECFS. 
Um, we really want to uh, increase the uh, awareness and really increase uh, people knowing about it. And, and so uh, I won't go over these details, but we have this in your packet. Thank you very much.